Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. All right, we still have a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Let's get to our weather headlines and take a look at those here for the Concho Valley. We've got tropical storm beta, and that is a Greek alphabet letter there, and that means we've run out of names for the season. We've had so many storms in 2020. This hasn't happened since 2005. Think about some major storms in 2005, Katrina being one that comes to mind. We've had some big storms already, but here in the Concho Valley, we're going to see high pressure build in for us. That's going to lead us to a sunny weekend for us as we go into tomorrow and Sunday, and then mostly quiet for us as we go into next week. Let's take a look at where we're sitting right now out at the airport. 69 degrees at the airport at Mathis Field. Humidity at 68%. Winds out of the north northeast at around 6 miles an hour with mostly clear conditions across the Concho Valley. Temperatures at this hour, 74 up in Robert Lee, 71 in Grape Creek, 69 here in St. Angelo, 68 at Fort McCavitt, 65 in Menard, 71 over in Melvin, 72 in Brady. So we're still seeing some of those low 70s, upper 60s for many of us here in the Concho Valley. Here it is, Tropical Storm Beta right now in the Gulf of Mexico. Look at all the clouds out there. It's quite a ways out here in the Gulf of Mexico, but look, it's not too far from Texas. Winds at 60 miles per hour, pressure at 996 millibars. Moving north northeast at 12 miles per hour as we track this system out over the next several days. Here's where we're expecting it to go. Look at this. Tracking towards the Texas coastline here as a category one storm here on Monday as we go into next week with 80 mile an hour winds forecasted here and then curving back along the coastline here. So this could be detrimental for places along the Texas coastline. So if you know people in that area, give them a phone call, give them a heads up about what's coming their way. All that yellow stuff that you see here on clouds and radar in Texas, that's a child abduction emergency that's been issued here for the entire state, but not seeing anything on clouds and radar across the entire Lone Star State. Not seeing that here in the Concho Valley either. Just seeing some ground clutter picked up by the radar. Things are going to be quiet for us, especially as we go into the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. Our future cast has temperatures in the 60s, upper 50s in Sterling City, but most of us in the 60s as we go into Saturday. Plenty of sunshine as we go through the day into our evening hours. Temperatures getting down into the upper 70s, low 80s by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And as we go through our future cast the next several days this weekend, we're going to see sunny conditions, highs in the 80s, big high pressure system building in for us. And then we may see some tropical influence from tropical storm beta or hurricane beta at that time. We'll watch how close this actually comes to the Texas coastline and depending on how close it actually tracks we may get some clouds and maybe even some showers squeezed out in our eastern counties as it comes close to texas here over the next several days otherwise highs will be in the 80s for us through next week and i mentioned it earlier a really nice September weekend for us in store for this weekend. Saturday, sunny and 84. Same thing on Sunday, so a really nice weekend ahead of us. And as we go into the night, getting down to 59 degrees overnight tonight, mostly clear conditions. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for your Saturday, expect temperatures to get up to 84 degrees with sunny conditions across the Concho Valley. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The next five days here in the Concho Valley, we're going to keep that sunshine in the forecast for us as we go through the weekend. Temperatures in the 80s, a slight chance of an isolated shower or two as we start out next week. Temperatures remaining in the 80s with mostly sunny conditions for next week.